Neil Grove here for Woe TV. I'm standing here with Ashley Daly and Katie. I can't remember your surname, but it's really nice standing so close together. We're in confined space here. Uh, tonight, I want to ask you, Ashley, uh, you've been calling out anybody to fight you, uh, and uh, it looks like you're not getting any fight. What's, what's going on? Um, I don't know. I, maybe it's just uh, my style of finishing fights or whatever. Uh, nobody seems to be kind of getting out of the second round with me lately, so uh, I think I'm scaring some people off. I know the feeling. Uh, I scare, scare the girls off as well for some reason. Um, what, is it, what do you think it's going to take for somebody to take a fight on with you in a big event like the one tonight? Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll lose a few fights and then some people will get some confidence up. I'll throw some fights on purpose and then see will anybody fight me then after that. <laughs> Where are you training right now? Uh, I'm training in Straight Blast Gym in Dublin with my coach John Kavanagh and all the guys there. What are the gyms over here like? Is, is there anything like overseas? I mean, I'm, have you, have you trained overseas yet? Um, I've only trained a little bit overseas, but to be honest, uh, uh, SPG is definitely the best gym in the country by far. Uh, John Cavanagh is a world-class coach. Uh, he's up there with any of the, the gyms in the States. The calibre of fighters he's produced, and I think shows that, like myself and some of the other guys who are, who are winning on Cage Warriors. Uh, we have a couple of guys who are Cage Contender Champions. It's really, uh, we have a, a great uh, pack there of people. Do you train with a lot of girls? Is there a lot of girls in your gym, or do you tend to spar with the boys mainly? Uh, I pretty much spar with the guys only. I'm the only pro female in the gym. We have one other girl fighting amateur who I spar with sometimes, but it's mostly just the guys. No wonder the girls are scared of you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's what you have to do. If I don't train with the guys, I don't train. I'm very lucky that I have a lot of uh, smaller guys. I have some uh, bantamweight and super flyweight guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorted there. I guess I'm good spars. And it's, it's, it's another thing I wanted to ask you, because a lot of girls fight at 115, 125, 135, and they jump up and down those weight classes as well. What, what weight class are you fighting at the moment? I'm fighting at 125 at the minute. I'm probably a little bit small for 125, but the cut to 115 doesn't really suit me. Ideally, if there was a 120 division, that'd be perfect, but every fight would be a catchway, so 125 it is. And what do you, uh, tell, tell the viewers, what do you think about Dana White saying there'll never be a female fighter in his, in his show? I think Dana White's a businessman and he'll say that now because maybe there's not enough money to be made in women's MMA but as soon as there's money to be made I, I think he'll jump on board, he, he's a smart guy. There's probably no money there at the minute but when uh, the fan base grows and people are actually wanting to come and see women's fights and the shows are selling tickets I'm sure he'll jump on board. There's a lot, a lot of other big shows you can look at, uh, for instance Bjorn, Bjorn Rebney likes girls on his shows, uh, what do you think about Bellator? Yeah, I think Bellator is great. Uh, there, there's a little bit of talk about a 125 tournament for Bellator and hopefully I'll be in that. I might have some, some news coming soon about that, but uh, I'll save that until it's official. Well, I've had my quota of questions here. Let's ask pretty little Katie what she wants to know. If I took my heels off, I reckon I'd be the same height as you, but I definitely wouldn't take you on. <laughs> How does it feel to be a female in the sport? Um, I don't really notice any difference, to be honest. Like A lot of people will kind of mention it to me and say it's different. Or, but I think maybe it's the gym that I'm in. We have such a team atmosphere and such a family atmosphere that I don't feel like I'm any different to the guys on the team. I, I get beat up with the guys, I sweat with the guys, bleed with the guys. I'm just, I'm just part of the team and that's it. And do you feel fully prepared tonight? Yeah, I do, yeah. All the guys are ready to go and, and I'm here to support them. And uh, Like I said, we just have a great team behind us, so we're always ready to go. Whatever uh, fights are there or whatever shows we're there for, SBG or are bringing it. And for anybody back home who isn't here to enjoy the atmosphere, can you describe what it's like? Oh, the atmosphere downstairs is amazing. It's, it's like, there's so many people with their brothers and sisters and family members, teammates downstairs. There's, a, there's really just a great atmosphere. If you're, if you're not here, you're really missing out. And a lot of people come support your local MMA fighters. UFC isn't the only thing. It's not UFC fighting, it's MMA. Get down to your local fights. 